Kingdom Protesta All single celled eukaryotes are placed under Protesta, but the boundaries of this kingdom are not well defined. What may be a photosynthetic protestin to one biologist may be a plant to another. In this book, we include chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds, and protozoans under Protesta. Members of Protesta are primarily aquatic. This kingdom forms a link with the others dealing with plants, animals, and fungi. Being eukaryotes, the protestant cell body contains a well-defined nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. Some have flagella or cilia. Protists reproduce asexually and sexually by a process involving cell fusion and zygote formation. Chrysophytes this group includes diatoms and golden algae desmids. They are found in fresh water as well as in marine environments. They are microscopic and float passively in water currents. Plankton. Most of them are photosynthetic. In diatoms, the cell walls form two thin overlapping shells which fit together as in a soap box. The walls are embedded with silica and thus the walls are indestructible. Thus, diatoms have left behind large amount of cell wall deposits in their habitat. This accumulation over billions of years is referred to as diatomaceous earth. Being gritty, the soil is used in polishing, filtration of oils and syrups. Diatoms are the chief producers in the oceans. Dinoflagellates These organisms are mostly marine and photosynthetic. They appear yellow, green, brown, blue or red depending on the main pigments present in their cells. The cell wall has stiff cellulose plates on the outer surface. Most of them have two flagella, one lies longitudinally and the other transversely in a furrow between the wall plates. Very often, red dinoflagellates, example goniolex, undergo such rapid multiplication that they make the sea appear red, red tides. Toxins released by such large numbers may even kill other marine animals such as fishes. Euglenoids Majority of them are freshwater organisms found in stagnant water. Instead of a cell wall, they have a protein-rich layer called pellicle which makes their body flexible. They have two flagella, a short and a long one. Though they are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight, when deprived of sunlight, they behave like heterotrophs by predating on other smaller organisms. Interestingly, the pigments of euglenoids are identical to those present in higher plants, example euglena. Slime molds Slime molds are saprophytic protists. The body moves along decaying twigs and leaves engulfing organic material. Under suitable conditions, they form an aggregation called plasmodium, which may grow and spread over several feet. During unfavorable conditions, the plasmodium differentiates and forms fruiting bodies bearing spores at their tips. The spores possess true walls. They are extremely resistant and survive for many years, even under adverse conditions. The spores are dispersed by air currents. Protozoans all protozoans are heterotrophs and live as predators or parasites. They are believed to be primitive relatives of animals. There are four major groups of protozoans. Amoeboid protozoans, flagellated protozoans, ciliated protozoans and sporozoans. Amoeboid protozoans. These organisms live in fresh water, sea water or moist soil. They move and capture their prey by putting out pseudopodia, false feet, as an amoeba. Marine forms have silica shells on their surface. Some of them, such as ant amoeba, are parasites. Flagellated protozoans The members of this group are either free-living or parasitic. They have flagella. The parasitic forms cause diseases such as sleeping sickness, example, trypanosoma. Ciliated protozoans these are aquatic, actively moving organisms because of the presence of thousands of cilia.
they have a uh, cavity gullet that opens to the outside of the cell surface the coordinated movement of rows of cilia causes the water laden with food to be steered into the gullet example paramecium sporozoans this includes diverse organisms that have an infectious spore like stage in their life cycle The most notorious is Plasmodium, malarial parasite which causes malaria, a disease which has a staggering effect on human population.